Hello. Do you ever feel that it is a real challenge to deal with your customer? Do you ever feel that it is impossible to handle all the unreasonable customer demands? Do you ever feel that you start to resist and resent your customer? Do you ever get sick and tired of the customer yelling at you? I'm sure you can relate to at least one of these questions. I believe it is human nature to only see the negative in the midst of stressful and demanding situations. Emotions such as anger, frustration, discouragement and resentment need to be dealt with, processed and released. I always say you have two choices. Either you change your situation or you change the way how you look at things. Can the customer be difficult at times? Absolutely. And you? Can you be difficult as well? Of course. You may not want to consider that, but that's the reality, whether you want to admit that or not. It is important that you try to walk in your customer's shoes. What does your customer want? Well, what do you want when you go shopping? Great customer service, great quality and a good price. Don't we all want that? Have you ever thought about why the customer behaves the way he does? Have you ever thought about what you can do to make the customer experience a different one for yourself and for the customer? How can you enhance customer satisfaction and exceed customer expectations? How can you overcome unrealistic expectations by building exceptional relationships? How can you turn an angry customer into a loyal one? When emotions are high, intelligence is low. You have to know how to calm the customer down if you want to lead a normal conversation. The customer is always right, even when he is not. But if you don't have a customer, you don't have business. And if you don't have business, there won't be any work. And if there is no work, there is no money. It's as simple as that. And that's why you have to find a better way to work with your customers. It is also very important to watch your language when you talk about your customers. And if you are a manager, you have to be even more aware because you are the role model for your people and they will follow your lead. If they hear you badmouthing the customers, they will think that that is acceptable. I want to share two tips with you. First of all, talking behind your customer's back is highly unprofessional. It creates negative vibes and your customers can feel these vibes when you have a conversation with them. Good communication and mutual respect is key. Secondly, always look at yourself first and sell yourself a solution center for your customer's problems. If you change your perception and your behavior towards your customers, there is a strong likelihood that they will too. Believe me, there are many tools and techniques that can be learned to make your customer your ally instead of your enemy. Always remember, excellence is not a skill, it's an attitude. And I will see you next week again. Until then, be the best you can be.